nervous system. And even though I was taught about the autonomic nervous system in medical school and in my neurology classes, in my bachelor's degree, I was not taught clinically how the dysfunction or dysregulation of the autonomic nervous system can manifest in so many syndromes and diseases and how the opposite is true. We can use and manipulate our nervous system to help treat those illnesses and syndromes that are, that are making us suffer. And let's, without further ado, let me talk about the nervous system. The nervous system has two main arms of defense. Our nervous system's defense line is designed to protect us in danger, in real danger. Okay, I'm talking about fight or flight or the freeze response. Okay, the fight or flight is a sympathetic system. Uh, imagine somebody is breaking into my home and about to injure me or murder me. I'm going to have a, a very high heart rate. My heart is going to be racing. Uh, my blood pressure and heart rate are going to go super high because all the blood is diverted from my digestive system into my legs and arms, either to fight or run. Uh, and... I'll be, I'll, I'll have no time to concentrate, you know what I mean? Like, I can't learn in that environment. Um, I'll have racing thoughts. What am I going to do? What am I going to say? Like, you know, you'll be, you'll, there's no way you can function like that for a long time. But in signs of danger, this is a great response. That's called the sympathetic nervous system. You'll be sweaty, sweaty palms, and high heart rate, high blood pressure, and so forth. Now, let's do another response. There's another response to um, a perceived threat, which is just freeze. Freeze. Freeze is part of the parasympathetic arm, the, the dorsal arm of the parasympathetic system. And this is what we see in children who have perhaps sustained sexual abuse. They freeze. They don't know what to do. And after that, they just shut down. They're helpless. They're hopeless. Um, they disengage. You don't have eye contact. Um, you, you, you're, you're not learning well. Um, you're very um, disengaged. You don't want to talk to people, you can't connect to people, and you just withdraw from society. You feel it's a very dark place. And you can feel this in depression without a capital T trauma. You can, you, if burnout, you know, you can just, you know, withdraw and have that, uh, the freeze response. Like, you don't want to work anymore, you can't work anymore, you can't have a relationship. Totally uninterested and totally giving in to that. And then there is the the love that we seek. That is the, the normal nervous system. The nervous system that we seek to have um, and that is conducive to learning, to conducive to bonding. That is called activation of the uh, ventral nervous system. It's conducive to growth, conducive to conversation and warmth. And we're having deep breaths and, you know, we're not just speeding along through life.